I'm back at the Kobe swap meet, the biggest swap meet in San Diego. I am here today to support my friend Vince. He's setting up, he's selling toys and collectibles. He always has good stuff, great deals. So I'm here to support my friend and maybe I'll hit up another booth or two on the way out. Um, welcome to the channel, everybody. I'm SoCal Shaolin. Let's get this hunt started. Kobe swap me. Uh, we are here at Vince's booth. We found it. He has a lot of stuff set up. We got modern toys and vintage toys as well. This table has a lot of Masters of the Universe. Some AWA wrestlers as well. I have a lot of these already. Many faces, clawful. We got some silver hawks in here. Get this out. Ten bucks, not bad. There's a stinger here. He has his belt. Monster, here we go. More silver hawks. Some other good stuff in here. It's just a big pile of Masters of the Universe figures. Very cool. My wife has like a ton of those things. <laughs> Transformers. Turtles. There's a very cool, incredible hook right in front of the Castle Grayskull. A little Grogu right here. Those Black Panther mask. What's in the back? Those are cool, the Marvel comics. So, I don't know where those alien things from. We got some vintage cases and a bunch of turtles. Super Shredder. Oh, well, these are the flip turtles. Check out this table. We got some Clone Wars, Star Wars figures. There's a Qui Gon Jin. I never seen this guy before. See, got a bunch of modern stuff. It's a cool guy again. Jet Jaguar. The prices, man. Good deals, good deals everywhere. And then over here, a couple transformers, little ones. 
see what's over here on this side. This table has some more modern stuff. Which is some Super 7s, Snoopies. Wow, wow, West guys, you guys remember this movie? They made a toy line out of it. I'm not gonna lie, if it was Will Smith, I probably would have bought him. Two dollars. This is really cool. It's a random bin. A figure Star Trek. This Robin superpower. Hey, that's James Bond Jr. Card. Oh, there he goes, James Bond Jr. Where is this from? Animated series Batman. Power Rangers in this one. Figures. Also from the thing, Green Lantern. Some spawn down here. Clown. I haven't tried it yet. You gave me some. Man, uh, that shit makes me fucking crazy. Brand new, all new life, dog. Huh? I got some warrior bees here. Vince is pricing these up. You know? Look at that. Complete He-Man and Skeletor for 30, 30 bucks each. It's deals. Deals. Real blast, 25. Armor. Weapon. You can't beat those prices. He has bags full of accessories. <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah. Look at that. Complete. Those are good deals right there. 30 each. There's a battle camp. Some Legos. We even got some video games over here. You got a bunch of NES games. And you got more over here. Pinbot. I don't even I don't think I have Pinbot. I was big into collecting Nintendo, not so much anymore. But let's see, I'll definitely look around, Wheel of Fortune, nothing crazy, but that's a good game, Super Spike V-Ball, two bucks, let's see what else, yeah, not bad for the prices, let's see, you even got an Atari over here, yeah. dollars on the Atari. Some good accessories. Check this out. Muhammad Ali the greatest. This is cool. Alright, we are done with Vince's booth. Picked up a lot of good stuff. I'll show you guys when I get home. I'm, I, I'm on the way out of the Swami, but on the way out, we're going to check out some other booths as well. They got lots of cool, crazy stuff here. Awesome. This is awesome Swami.
So you can even come here and get some art. Look at that. This thing. $7,500. Definitely want to make your place look nice with some artwork, real elegant, you know. There's some good stuff over here. Bunch of brass items. The Hindi gods right there. Look at these. These are crazy. I wonder if that's ivory. Is there a genie in there? Grab me some wishes? No? Darn. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Pretty good. I'm an M jacket. An awesome Native American jewelry there for turquoise. Some vintage cameras. Oh, this would have been cool if it was in good condition. A Sigma Sigma Darth Vader oh, but it's paint coming off of it that would have been a great pickup right there we got some cool China over there look at this piece right here the vintage Shark's jacket. 20 minutes more, bro. I am out of Kobe swap meet. Pretty much came here to support my boy Vince setting up. Got some great items and great deals. You saw there, he had lots of great stuff for sale at good prices. But I'm on my way home now. Didn't get to look around the swap meet much. I got family duties to get to. Like I said, just came to support my boy. Uh, let's head on out and I'll show you my pickups when I get home. It was a quick visit to the Kobe swap meet. I pretty much went there to check out Vince's booth. I did come away with some cool items and great deals as always uh, from Vince. And he doesn't only give deals to me, he gives deals to everybody you saw there. He has some great stuff for some awesome prices. I didn't have time to check out the rest of the swap meet. I saw a few booths on the way out uh, to leave. Uh, so yeah, I'll definitely one of these days I'll go back and check out more of the swap meet. But I had like family things to do and I only had like a short amount of time to go down to the to the swap meet. And so I went to Vince's booth. I knew he was setting up. Uh, but next time I'll try to, you know, go further out and check out some other booths. Uh, it was still early, 7 a.m. People were still setting up as well. We'll start off with the first pickup is a Ninja Turtle. This is, I forget this guy's name, like Magician Raph. But he has the cool little rabbit here at the top of his hat. No accessories, but he's one of the uncommon ones. You don't see him uh, too often like you do the other ones, like the first few waves. Of course, turtles, vintage turtles are famous, I guess, for all the gimmicks they had. You know, like like this. And then, you know, they had the clown ones, the Old West ones, they had all kinds of crazy stuff. The other one I got was Cartwheeling Donatello. From the like the ninja action series i already have him in the collection but this was a much better condition pretty much mint and he came with 
the accessories as weapons. So that was a cool bonus upgrade on the figure right here. It's cool Donatello. Yeah, they got this action where you do the little side here and it does a car wheel supposed to. I was trying, it was I couldn't get it. I couldn't get him to land back on his feet. It was, it was tough, so I kind of stopped before I broke him. All right. But next up, we got some wrestlers. I picked up this collector case here that Vince threw in. Very cool from WCW. I don't collect any of these WCW figures, uh, but it's cool to have the case. You got Surfer Sting here, Lex Luger, and the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. They're pretty much the only ones on the package on this case the artwork you see here they're even they're even fighting each other so very cool very cool case and it was cool because i ended up everything i bought threw in here this is the carrying case <laughs> which for, what, were for my pickups so we got that there i got my first ljn figure and it was of course hulk hogan I was not going to pick him up, but Vince kind of convinced me that I need him for the collection. I do collect Hulk Hogan, uh, not only figures, but items. You know, I got squirt guns, I got buns, uh, cards, you name it. Uh, yeah, I'm a Hogan fan, so yeah, it was cool to add this guy to the collection. I don't know if I'm going to pick up uh, more LJN figures, maybe a Macho Man, just to have like those two guys, but uh, cool to add this guy to the collection. He's not in terrible shape either. He's pretty decent. I know he comes usually comes with a championship belt, I believe. Uh, but it's cool to have this guy in the collection. They're pretty hefty figures, man. All rubber. Sticking with the wrestling theme, you saw that table full of Master Universe figures. There was some turtle figures in there and a lot of wrestlers. He had recently picked up a wrestling collection. So I got a few of the Remco AWA figures. First up, I got Paul Ellering, manager of the Road Warriors. Now, he's missing his, his shirt. He has a little crack there on his shoulder. But for $5, I had to add him to the collection. And it's going to be a placeholder for when I get uh, at least one with a shirt. If he had the shirt, at least it would have would have covered up that little crack here. But besides that, he's in great shape. Maybe he just was dropped or something. I don't know. But cool to add this guy to the collection. I already have the Roll Warriors, so now I got the manager. And then these next two also are missing their accessories, which is like their ring get-ups. This is a two-pack that's uh, in the package. It goes for a few hundred bucks. They're not, the again, these are some of the uncommon figures in the Remco wrestling line. We got Abdullah the Butcher and uh, Carlos Colon missing his singlet. And then I believe he has pants and some, some boots. Uh, but very cool to add these guys to collection. Uh, besides missing those uh, clothing items, they're in great shape. Minty, minty. The arms are super, super tight. And so are the legs. So these will make awesome placeholders for when I get complete ones or maybe find the accessories uh, separate and then complete them that way. I don't know, but for now, they're cool to have. Like I said, these are not some of the more common Remco AW figures. So very cool to add these to the collection. The last two figures I picked up were also from Remco, but these are from the Warrior Beast toy line. We got Craven and Gecko. When he busted these out, oh, I had to I snatched them up really quick, but I wasn't sure. I was pretty sure that I had one of these already in the collection and it was Gecko. I already have a complete Gecko. Uh, I guess he's missing like a little like a belt that goes over his shoulders. Uh, so now I got two geckos. And it's cool that he has his weapon as well. So now I got a backup gecko. Now this guy did not have. This is Craven. This is a pretty badass looking figure. He's kind of like a like a crow or a raven. I don't know. Maybe they're mixed in together. Maybe that's why he called, he's called Craven. <laughs> right? I mean, they weren't. I don't think they were too creative with these. Uh, these names back in those days uh, but he comes with his two weapons which is awesome check out those gnarly feet and just like the colors are cool the black and the yellow and there goes his uh, weapon right there kind of hard to hold it on this hand you can see it's it's just an open hand so kind of have to just wedge it in between his 
his thumb and index finger. This is it too well, but awesome figure. Glad to add this guy to the collection. I already have a few other Warrior Beasts and that whole line from Remco is just awesome. They got like the Warlords, they got the Conan figures, which are the, the real pricey ones, but those are amazing. Maybe one of these days I'll, I've ever, I've never, wait, I've seen them once and I think it was at PowerCon. Uh, one of the booths had some of those guys, uh, but they are definitely figures you don't really see out in public, uh, only on like eBay and stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, those were the pickups. Let me know. Go, let me know what you guys thought of the pickups. Let me know what you saw there at Vince's booth that you would have picked up for yourself. I mean, he had that entire table of Masters of the Universe figures in great shape too. So he, they were like rock bottom prices, price to sell. He told me. Uh, so if you're lucky enough to get to go to Kobe Swap Me to one of Vince's uh, sales down there, definitely do so. Uh, but it was it was fun hanging out with him early in the morning, checking out some of the toys he had. And uh, yeah, like I said, next time when I have more time, I'll definitely walk around the rest of the swap meet. Kobe's is quickly becoming like well known across the U.S. mainly because of their sneaker events, vintage clothing events they have every month. They got like big sneaker YouTubers that go there and buy and sell. So it's it's catching on all over the U.S. People are coming from out of out of states even just to check out Kobe's. It's crazy how it's changed. It used to be just. Uh, your average swap meet, the biggest, it was always the biggest in San Diego, but now it's a lot more eyes are there at the swap meet. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks again, everybody, for tuning in to the video. And uh, throw those comments down there. And I'll catch you on the next one. Let me know what you guys are picking up. I like hearing from all you guys. And uh, until the next one, I'm SoCal Shaolin. I am out.